Hi guys, it's Becca from Blue Balloon Theatre. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a behind the scenes look at us creating our podcast, Be Inspired. Now, Be Inspired was set up earlier this year in 2021 to, you guessed it, inspire creatives and just anyone that decides to listen, really. We chat to uh, creatives and artists from all around the world about their experiences and sort of what they've done as a creative in order to inspire our listeners. It may just help you through a difficult day, but it may help you sort of take that next step towards achieving your greatest dream who knows so first and foremost when you're creating a podcast it's really important to know what you want to achieve with it obviously for us we wanted to inspire creatives that was the bottom line of it really and i think because of that we then knew how we wanted to market it, the kind of people we wanted to ask to be involved, and it just made that whole process a little bit easier. So I would say if you are looking to create a podcast, definitely brainstorm ideas of like what you want to achieve because I think later down the line, you know, when you are getting guests and that kind of thing, it does make it a lot simpler. Then of course, you want to find an easy way of distributing your podcasts. We use two platforms to do that. One of them is YouTube, like this. <laughs> uh, YouTube is fantastic because not only can you listen to the podcast, but you can watch it as well. So for anyone that engages with art or any sort of creative work in a visual way, you've got that option with YouTube. In terms of distributing an audio version of a podcast, we use Anchor, which is completely free to use. Uh, it's very, very good and accessible for first time users and it is the easiest way to distribute your podcasts to all of the audio streaming platforms so yeah there's a little tidbit for you so now let's take a look at our setup here is the setup <laughs> as you can see it's very simple and you can do all of this from home with very simple equipment as well which is amazing basically you don't have to have like a huge budget to create a podcast however one thing that you do need is a microphone so whether that is the microphone on your laptop or a standalone microphone it is crucial you need really good sound for your podcast this is a mujig condenser microphone they're really cheap to get hold of and they're very very easy to use this one comes on a stand which is fantastic i've got my headphones there as well so i can listen to it all in my ears as it's happening and then you connect your microphone to an interface i've got the personas audio box i1 which i connect to my microphone which is then connected to my laptop and it just makes the sound quality that little bit clearer and that little bit more defined so i would definitely recommend then of course you've got your ring light and i've got a lamp over here as well this is of course to light my podcast for the video aspect which goes onto youtube because the last thing you want is a really dimly lit picture of the host <laughs> um so yeah that's kind of the setup i've got a podcast downloading right now actually because i've just finished one so that's really cool hey and then the only other thing that i need is some post-it notes here and my diary Obviously my diary has got every single episode written in so I've got like a bit of a schedule and any post-it notes that I have are usually notes for the guests so if I need anything from them or if I need to do anything for the podcast I can see it, it's there and I can just sort of remind myself and the guest of them. So yeah that's the setup really, um, very simple, as I said before use what you have be resourceful and um, you know if you don't have a standalone mic using your laptop mic is completely fine and yeah very nice and nice and easy so that's the setup as I said nice and easy does what it says on the tin you do not need really expensive equipment for a podcast you really don't podcasts I found are quite easy to create and um, especially if you're on like a low budget so if you've got maybe an idea 
to create one or a premise for a podcast, I would just say go for it, like create it. I've really enjoyed using Zoom for the podcasts that we've done because you have the option of gallery view where you can record both yourself and the guest at the same time. I think that's just the best way to do it really because it is a two-way conversation. Once the file has been downloaded, which happens automatically post-recording, that's when you can start editing things like the sound and the visuals uh, for YouTube. I tend to create a sort of YouTube thumbnail, podcast art, and uh, an end card for each podcast. You can keep it really simple by using something like Canva. It's free to use and there's lots of um, sort of templates on there. So if you're maybe not sure what you want to design or how you want to design it, then there's inspiration on there. But what I would say is that try and create artwork for your podcast that reflects the podcast itself. So obviously ours is very creative, it's very vibrant, and we try to bring those qualities into our artwork as well. And finally, it's distribution time where you know, you've know you edited your podcast, it's ready to go, and you then upload to YouTube and to Anchor. The really good thing about Anchor is that I could basically upload the video file of the podcast and it would extract the audio so it just saves you a job like keep it simple for yourself because creating a podcast can be quite time consuming so any sort of ways you can keep it easy for yourself even if that means doing one file to distribute to YouTube and uh, Anchor do it. it that's that's perfect saves you a bit of time but yeah that is our behind the scenes look at creating our podcast be inspired and we're very 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 much looking forward to sharing season two's episodes if you haven't already do go and check out season one we had some cracking guests that shared such amazing stories with us so yeah those are available on anchor spotify any any audio streaming platform that you get your podcasts from and they're on YouTube as well. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed and we'd love to uh, hear your comments as well if you did really enjoy it and you'd like to see more of this kind of content. And finally subscribe to our channel if you're new. We've got so much creative content already on our YouTube channel and we've got more to come. But until the next time guys thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.